In this video, we're going to take a closer look at some roller shades from Smart Wings, which can integrate with your Zigbee and HomeKit based Smart Home. And I'm going to show you how I integrated them with Home Assistant using Zigbee to MQTT, despite not being on the list of supported devices. So stick around because we're about to automate some boring stuff. Welcome back to Slacker Labs. My name is Jeff. To be transparent, Smartwings was kind enough to send these roller shades to me so I could do this video. So the purpose of this video is twofold. First, I want to give you a rundown of these roller shades from Smartwings because there aren't too many off the shelf local only options for roller shades. And if you're looking to add roller shades to your smart home, these might be the ones for you. And two, I want to walk you through how I was able to add support for this device in Zigbee to MQTT because it might be easier than you think and you may eventually run across a device that's not supported by that project that you want to get into Home Assistant. But first, let's take a closer look at these roller shades. These are the motorized roller shades from Smartwings, and these smart shades were built with privacy and convenience in mind. They're custom made to fit your window and come with a choice of color so you can pick the right look for your room. To maximize privacy, you can choose between light filtering and complete blackout fabric. And for convenience, you can choose the motor depending on whether you want to integrate these with a Zigbee Hub, HomeKit, or you want to be completely off the IoT grid and just use a local remote. They allow for cordless operation by leveraging an internal lithium ion battery that can power your shades for four to six months. And the powerful motor easily opens and closes these shades while keeping the volume less than 35 decibels. So let's talk about the good and the bad of these shades. First off, these shades are custom made when you order them, but I don't think the total cost is going to be what you expect when you think custom made. When ordering these shades from Smartwings, you get to pick the width and the height. And if your measurements are right, the fit is going to be perfect. For a width greater than 25 inches or a height greater than 72 inches, there is going to be a slight price increase. So keep that in mind. And since you're providing the width and the height of these shades, you can choose whether they sit inside the window frame or out, which is not something you see in some of the other options. I found the installation process to be extremely easy and the included instructions were easy to follow. The unit does come in sleep mode to prevent damage while shipping, but waking it up is easiest holding down the programming button for two seconds. Since I was installing these shades on the inside of my window frame, I mounted the included clips to the top of that window frame. Then the shade just clicks into place, which is nice because there isn't a removable battery, so you may want to take them down to recharge them depending on where your nearest outlet is. But Smartwings did include a pretty long USB-C cable, so depending on where your outlet is, you may not need to take them down. Recharging to full capacity takes about five to six hours based on the Smartwings FAQs. And as mentioned, should power these shades for four to six months. But of course, if you don't wanna to have to mess with recharge and a battery, they do have a solar panel option that you can choose when you order your shades. The instructions mentioned that I might need to calibrate the stop points of these shades after getting them installed, but I didn't have to do any of that. The stop points were already set based on the measurements I provided when I ordered them. In fact, out of all the smart home tech that I've been sent, this one has probably been the easiest to set up. It took me longer to find the correct bit for my drill than it did to actually get these things set up and running. The remote is required for initial setup, I think, and it's listed as optional on the order form. So if you're ordering multiple shades, just remember to get at least one remote. The only real con I found with these shades was the noise level. And honestly, it's really not that bad. If you're in the same room as the shades when they're moving, you can hear them. But it's not loud enough that you can hear them if you're outside of the room. But noise level is one of those things that bothers some more than others. So to give you an idea of how loud these are. So as soon as I had these up and running, I was eager to get them into my smart home. And I had chosen the Zigbee option because I wanted a local only option and I was pretty confident I could get these integrated directly into Home Assistant. But it's nice that they have a HomeKit option as well for those of you that are all in on HomeKit. The Zigbee option though should connect to any Zigbee 3.0 hub like Amazon Echoes with the built-in Zigbee radio and smart things. But I wanted to try to use Zigbee to MQTT and get these connected directly to Home Assistant. So I enabled pairing in Zigbee to MQTT and then I kicked off the pairing process by holding down the programming button on the shades for six seconds. And that's where I hit a snag. 
Like I mentioned in the intro, this device is not currently supported by the Zigbee to MQTT project. But the beauty of Zigbee to MQTT is that if you run across a device that's not supported, you can add that support yourself. So I decided to give it a try. And honestly, it really wasn't that bad. Unfortunately, I didn't record that part of the process because I got too focused on actually solving that and didn't stop to think that I should be recording it. But the basic gist is this. First off, most devices should be able to pair with Zigbee to MQTT. The problem is that in some cases, Zigbee to MQTT may not be able to interpret the information coming from that device. To do that, it needs an external converter which is simply a file that tells Zigbee to MQTT about the capabilities of that Zigbee device. If you need to create your own converter, the project provides a nice boilerplate template for you to use. So that's what I started with. I made a copy of that template and I created a new file in the Zigbee to MQTT folder of my Home Assistant configuration. Then I simply pasted that boilerplate template into that file. In my case, I named that file smartwings.js and it appears that most converters are named for their vendor, not the specific device. Once we have the basic boilerplate in there though, it's time to modify it. Zigbee model is the name of your device, and you should be able to pull it straight from the message that you got that said it was unsupported. In my case, this was Zigbee model WM25 slash L dash Z. Next is model. This should be the model number from the device. I wasn't sure on what this should be for this specific device, so I just used the same model I used before. Vendor is the vendor of the device, so in this case, smart wings. And description would be roller shade or light bulb or whatever the specific device is. Now, the rest of what's in here I wasn't sure about because this hardware stuff isn't my forte. So I decided to cheat. I searched the list of supported devices for roller and then went through all of the options looking for one that looked like the Smartwings roller shades that was battery powered. And I came across the IKEA Furter, which looked pretty close. So the next part was to find the converter for it. Since these are vendor and not device based, I headed for the IKEA one and searched for Furter. And look there, this looks almost identical to the boilerplate. So I copied it and pasted it under my definition. I removed the OTA line because this links to a specific IKEA device, and I don't know what the OTA options are for smart wings, if there are any. I wasn't exactly sure what all this was or how it works, but to be safe, I removed anything that appeared to be pointing to something specific to IKEA. Now I just needed to save this and test this out. Next up, you'll have to update your Zigbee to MQTT configuration to use that external converter. And just a reminder, this JS file needs to be in the Zigbee to MQTT folder. For Home Assistant running on Home Assistant OS, this will be config slash Zigbee to MQTT. And the docs suggest setting the log level to debug. After that, I restarted the Zigbee to MQTT add-on and then flipped back over to the Zigbee to MQTT interface. And look at that, the device is supported. I haven't updated the icon, but now you can see the position, the battery level, and control the device using Home Assistant. And that's it. The SmartWings roller shade is now working in my Home Assistant instance. I haven't added this external converter back to the Zigbee to MQTT project yet. I still want to go through and see if there's other capabilities I can add to this converter. But if you go out and grab these roller shades before I get that converter added back to the project, hit me up in Discord and I'll send you the converter I have so you can get them working. I really like these roller shades. With Zigbee to MQTT, they are local only. And so far, they have integrated easily with Home Assistant. Price-wise, I think these shades are pretty reasonable. But they are custom made, so your final price is going to vary based on your specific needs. But I did try to price some non-smart roller shades that would fit my windows just for comparison. Both of the non-smart options I found were around $90. The version that I tested for this video started at $154. After customizing it to fit my windows, adding the remote and the Zigbee motor, it came out to around $225, which may seem like a lot, but these are custom made roller shades that can integrate locally with your smart home. And this is a replace or fresh install, not a retrofit of your current shades. And for me, the only thing preventing me from going out and buying more of these today is that we're considering moving in the near future. And I don't wanna buy a whole bunch of these shades for windows here when they might not fit the new windows. But as soon as we got all of that figured out, I will be buying more of these Smart Wings roller shades for my home. But if you want to grab some of these today, there's a link in the description that lets Smart Wings know that you heard about them from me. 
Anyway, I hope this video provided a good overview of the Smartwings roller shades. Again, a huge thanks to Smartwings for sending these roller shades to me so I could do this video. And I hope if you weren't sure about how to add device support to the Zigbee to MQTT project that this video gave you enough that you're ready to jump in and get started. If you want to support Slacker Labs and the mission to help you automate the boring stuff, there are affiliate links and links to buy me a coffee in the description of this video. Or simply let me know that you found value in this video by hitting that like button. And consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already for more smart home content like this. As always, thanks for taking time out of your home automation projects to watch mine. Until next time, go automate the boring stuff.